Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Option Pit Ticker Show. Uh, in this show, Andrew, myself, and Leisha will walk you through what we're seeing in a particular stock for that week, and if applicable, come up with an actionable trade idea. Today's stock of the week is one Lululemon Athletica. Lululemon, ye of yoga pants and many other things. It has had it had a dramatic run up with a lot of the individual retailers. So like ANF, uh, although ANF keeps has kept going. Um, uh, American Eagle Outfitters, what is that? A E F, American Eagle. Amer. There we go. AEO. It's had a nice kind of run up gap. But of those, Lulu was the one that really caught my eye. And what really kind of blew me away was going into the end of the year on the 29th. Lulu was worth more than target uh it, it's since widened out a little bit target is currently worth about 65 billion dollars lulu is all the way down to 58 lulu's lost about 7 billion bucks over the last few weeks um fundamentally you got to look at this valuation and ask yourself why how are they going to grow into a PE of 62 revenue of $9 billion. Their EBITDA was about 2.3. So for them to get a reasonable PE and let's look at, um, something like Walmart has about a 26 target about at 18. Macy's is an eight. So let's just say to get the PE down to 30, this company's revenue and earnings need to double. So the EPS needs to go from $7.86 a share to like 15 or 16. Uh, I think that's going to be tough. Um, now, could it could it happen? It could, but I, I just don't see it. And I think the run up probably a little overbaked. Um, stock starts to look more interesting pre this major run up. Now their earnings have been good, right? Look at their last earnings cycle. You know they had a nice rally. Um, and you know, came in with a beat, they've been beating, you know, for 2023, they beat all year. But what's interesting is the earnings, you know, that, that big blowout earnings in, uh, March, the earnings are actually down a little bit from 2022 when the stock was in the 300s. It had pretty nice earnings for 2022. They've not had one of these huge quarters in 2023. In fact, they, yeah, I mean, they really haven't. So we're going to have to see some sort of big pop on this next earnings, which are the 20 going to be in March. But I don't, I don't see it. So my take, this is not an investment vehicle. Nothing I would be, from a trade, I'm sure there's an opportunity when it gets to the 50. But from an investment vehicle, if I was along this, I'd be taking my profits and I'd be moving on. And that is my take 
um, what I see out of Lou Lou Lemon. Just uh, it looks like it's it's rolling over and coming back to reality. So that that's my take. Leisha, what do the charts tell us? Hello there. I agree. I believe Lulu has uh, a quite a bit further to, to trade lower. I'm a pitchfork. So it, it's traded along this pitchfork pretty well. Bounced off the lowest rung. Bounced off the median line there, the red. And didn't quite make it to the top of the pitchfork. Now this red will, this median line will offer some support for 6260. I think it's coming back down here though. The pitchforks don't have a hard, any hard, fast, real rules, but if they don't quite make it to either end, usually they're going to visit the opposite end. So that said, here is our 50 day. On the sixth month, our 50 day comes in 464. There will be some support there. You may get a little support right around there. 453, but look at this volume profile. We have a very large, clear, wide, open, thin zone for this stock to, to trade lower. And here on the weekly, we had a nice rally all the way back here off of a nice doji back in February and March. Rally, some consolidation rally, and here, nice little doji on the weekly, selling off. So, yeah, I I think Lulu's in store for a pretty good sell-off, to continue to sell off, for sure. Take it away, Andrew. So, right now, here we are. I, I like, this is what I'm looking at. It had this big earnings pop and it's basically spending all its time trying to go down. So right now, the the biggest thing though is like the volatility is zero. Here, take a look. So you have this run up here from like the 380 level, pretty like power move, right? Power move, power move. And it's kind of you know and it's not holding up right and you got all these little okay 20 day moving average blah 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 but really what matters right now to me is a vol is nothing okay should the volatility be at a one year low is my question so let's take a little look to see if we have some a relatively easy trade to set up hint 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 Because I think we could probably get away with a put calendar here. All right. So I would say volatility is like 27 volatility is ravaged. So the idea for me in this type of trade is, okay, what is a decent average volatility for the product? So my trick is always, what's the 90-day vol? So the 90-day the vol is basically telling you this is the average volatility for the last 90 days for Lulu. That number is right around 30. So my expectation then is Lulu moves around a little less than 2% a day on average for the last 90 days. That's a pretty strong number. So if you have continuation over one, two, three days, you could have 2%, 2%, 2% or near. That's almost a 6% move if you have any momentum that's holding either down or up. So when I see stuff like that, when I see the volatility fall off, the reason why the volatility is falling off is why? Lulu peaked over $500 and now it's not going anywhere. So that what happens is some of the action tends to go away. And option buyers, right? Usually it's, it's driven by call buyers. It goes away. So uh, let's look at a strangle. Strangle, or I would say start with a put calendar. Because uh, the put calendar is relatively low. So let's see if we can get anything for some sh for options this week. 460 puts are, uh, well, they're 70 cents. So that's a 26 vol. The Feb 09... 
460 puts our 560. I don't know if that really swings me for a calendar trade. Let's see if we can find something that's really in. This is Jan 26 cycle is too inexpensive here. Um, Febo two. So you see all these vols at a 21 vol to me, not worth selling. So it, it would make a relatively poor calendar at the outset. You could work into a calendar trade if you get the move, but I would not start with a calendar here. Uh, at a 22 vol, so the Feb, the 455s are 25 points out of the money. The 460 puts are 550. Um, so basically, I would just lean a little short uh, and go like 460. And then five. basically, if the market likes the stock again, you're going to be back to 500. So I would just work on a strangle. If we get a move one way or the other, I would calendarize the trade. Um, so let's see here what we would do. And because the vol is just too low. Now, if you think Lulu can go up a little more, but right now we're leaning a little bearish, I would lean a little bearish. Um, let's say the 500 might be a little too. Let's go like four. Uh, I like the 500 still. Because if you get there, you get there. Uh, so let's go to my trade log. Okay, what's today? January 16th. Okay. So we're looking at a, here we go. So we're looking at a Lulu. Again, I like about a month on these. Nothing really crazy. So I would buy to open one Lulu. Uh, now I'm going to just do one check here before to make sure that we're we're within. So they're saying the strangle here is around $20, $22. 500 might be a bit of a bridge too far. Um, so let's see here. What's the net delta on the trade is 20 over 20 over 20. It's only nine delta. So I think that's okay. All right. So what the heck just happened there? All right, so I have, uh, so I'm gonna buy like a Feb 09, uh, four, I'm gonna say 460, we'll get like a meaty put, 460 put, and a four, let's go 500 call. Again, I, again, keep- So it leaves a little keep, short. Huh? It leans a little short. It's leaning nine deltas short. Yeah. Now, yeah, here's the thing. For me to manage risk on this trade, I would keep it on for a week. So we're putting it on a Tuesday. Keep it on for the week, and let's see if we get a, the meaningful move that we're looking for. So um, here we go. Uh, do and so Lulu, Lulu, you're looking at the February four Feb 09, which is a Feb 09. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, the reason why is you got January 31 is the Fed is going to, you know, do something with yeah. rates that should keep a somewhat of a floor under the vault. Um, I don't think we're going to need to hold the trade a whole lot more than that. This is not like a long-term, you know. No. But so if you guys are looking for like a more long-term trade, what I would buy is like, I if you're looking for something more long-term, I would go like to a March, Feb, like a 450 put calendar, something like that. Um, if you just wanted a straight short Delta trade. Um just something like that, reduce the cost a little bit, give you a little bit more tradable room. Um, so I've got 46500 I have that strangle price, so I'm going to bid $8 for it. See if what fills. And there we go. So you're looking, so yeah. 
Now on the simpler end, if you just want to be short Lulu, right? If Why you don't, don't you want... do call fly on the upside, William says. If you want to do a call fly, William, go for it. Yeah. Um, or like a bear put fly would make would be interesting as well. We um, we can't put out things that are like crazy. No, we can't. Too many steps for people because their heads melt. And we get email and notes, and yeah. it's a free product. And, and if you want to just play a straight short position, I would look at the regular Feb four sixty puts. They're about six dollars and ninety cents. Um, you know, relatively inexpensive way to express a bearish opinion. Um, you've got a full month. And, you know, as we said, the chart on Lulu looks like it's at a minimum going to the 50. Yeah, is it, looks a, dog like Andrew, I would <laughs> want to be out of this by the middle of next week. Um, and, you know, that would be my my plan is, you know, if I buy this for six dollars and 70 cents, I want to sell it at 10 and call it a day. Um, if I want to do a vertical. I sure, mean, I'll... you're still getting over a dollar for the 420 put. The, I mean, the 460, 420 put spread is only $5.50. Oh, that is not very says, expensive. Short nine deltas. Yeah. <laughs> Maracruz, you want to put the two nine delta delta. So a short nine delta means um, for every dollar that Lulu moves, uh, the trade is going to tra change value by nine bucks. So and when you add the call and the put together, so the call delta is uh, 20. So the call delta is 20. 20. And the put delta is 29. Yeah. So that's just telling you what the stock equivalent is. And how you're so like learning. stock. If you bought a hundred shares of stock, Maracuzzi would be a hundred deltas. If you shorted a hundred shares of stock, you'd be short a hundred deltas. So when I add the call and the put together, I'm only short nine deltas. And Al's idea is if you put on a put vertical, again, you're reducing the net delta of what you started with. So it, it gives you a little less exposure at the beginning, but you'll you could gain more a little more exposure toward the end of the cycle of the trade. And again, if you wanted something simple, the simple version would be to just simply buy the February 460, 420 put spread. And it looks like you pay about five dollars and forty cents on that. Okay, so what would be the net delta on that mark one? That's going to be a net twenty short twenty four delta. Feb sixteen, four sixty four twenty. Yeah. For how many deltas? Uh, it's going to get you short negative twenty four deltas. And you're going to pay about five dollars and forty cents for that. All right. So that's five forty, and I'm I'm bidding eight dollars for my strangle here. Yes. So one is just a direct bear play. One is bearish, but has is more of a play on the volatility itself. I just filled something. It's kind of like Christmas. What is it? So I just filled my Lulu trade at eight bucks. That's a nice trade. Andrew. Now, hopefully, remember, this is buy to open, buy to open. If you're doing this yourself, we're not sell the open, sell the open. Because if you're just yes. used to doing credits all the time, credit spreads, you might have just filled my bid. <laughs> it also means likely that Lulu right now is going to go up a little bit because my trade had a short delta and it filled. Thank you for filling my trade, William. I appreciate that. So remember, it has a short delta. So if I'm bidding in the middle, mid-market, and I fill, that means the stock is probably going up in the short term right now. Yeah. Now, Maybe Andrew, if, it, you know, I'm we... Gonna I'm going to sell if, my if call. Someone, if somebody's interested in learning about or trading strangles, is there a place where at Option Pit we regularly trade strangles? Hmm, let me see. You mean a place with an incredible track record? Yes. That we put out trades every week? 
mm-hmm. and is wildly popular. I can't think of anything right now, Mark. Yes. Hmm, what is it? Oh, the easy trade button. Yes. <laughs> yes. So if you're liking this approach and you're not a member of our easy trade button service, uh, you should be asking yourself why. And if you like uh, trading desk would be another one. Trading desk, right, Mark? Yes. Shorter term strangles trading desk. Yeah. Both are great. Um, and if you have interest in, in checking these things out, give my team a call, 888-872-3301, or shoot an email, and they'll be happy to talk to you about the difference, the, the difference between Trading Desk and Easy Trade Button and how you can evolve. All of our services are designed to learn while you earn, where you are uh, you know, hopefully trading with Andrew or myself or both of us. Uh, and also becoming smarter and a better trader. William so says, couple- I love the trading desk. We love the trading desk too. It's probably my favorite product to, to, to And I sing every day, but yes. not for long. Um, uh, also closing the trade, I would recommend putting in a closing order. So for my, I would just put in basically a $6, I have a $5 cl- close on my, now $6 close on the calls and probably a $9 close on the puts just ahead of time. If the market starts moving a lot and vol expands, you can just you know try to close the strangle for 10 bucks. You just never know where things are gonna go. Uh, but we think it's going down. All right. Well, everybody, I wanna uh, thank this you one, for being here on the sheets. Uh, and um, there we go. All right. I wanna thank everybody for being here for the easy, for our ticker highlight show. We'll be back at a regular time next Monday. Uh, and again, if you have interested in learning how to trade strangles, uh, give my team a call 888-872-3301. Um, they would love to hear from you and, uh, you can ask them anything you want about our different services and they'll be there. Then they are there to help you. You can also email support And if I close part of my Lulu trade, the announcement will go out in our app in the announcements. So just like you got the announcement for this for this class today, like, hey, come to the class, you will get the announcement will come out as well. So it's uh, it's it's kind of slick, actually. So it will show up like um, here and you'll you'll see it. So if you're getting your notifications and things like that, it'll show up there. All righty. All right, everybody, have an excellent day. And, oops, I had to put it there. All right, everybody. See you later. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, take care.